Welcome to a video where I shall rank characters in a specific genre and piss off people across the globe because it does not match up with their opinion and therefore believe I should be incarcerated. Today, I shall be ranking what I personally believe to be the top 5 strongest zombie classes in Garden Warfare 2. Taking a look at the class as a whole, rather than specific variants, out of a potential of 8 candidates, who will come out on top? Let's get started. In 5th place, we have the Scientist. The Scientist class is home to mostly close range specialists with devastating firepower that can very easily eliminate plants. His fast ground movement speed along with his ability to warp grants him decent mobility in terms of crossing certain gaps as well as heal teammates with various sources of healing. Scientist however only manages 5th place for whilst he does have a lot of these neat attributes his kit is limited to close range engagements and his health pool of 100 makes him weak to burst damage. In 4th place. We have the Pirate. Pirate's kit is generally a lot more interactive than the likes of Cactus, having a barrel for defensive situations, a cannon for area of effect, and a drone that can lay waste to stray targets or to scout out areas. His primary weapon is also extremely powerful both in close range and long range combat, especially considering that plant hitboxes usually are much larger than the likes of zombie ones. The Pirate only gets 4th place however, due to his less beginner friendly nature, as well as the the fact that he generally has no form of mobility and is rather slow on foot. In third place. We have the Hover Goat. This radical as fuck mammal can provide semi-decent firepower with his primary. Although the main selling points of the Hover Goat come in the form of his damage buff beam and the speed boost, the both of which can easily allow your teammates not only an opportunity to actually get their fucking jobs done, but in the hands of a player who knows what they're doing. That damage or speed boost can allow them to just go and fucking steamroll, provided they aren't being ignorant and fucking run away from you. In second place, we have the All Star with 200 health and a minigun primary that can last for long periods of time with proper heat management. The All Star class is essentially a powerhouse of a class that can take quite the beating and deliver it back in return. His sprint tackle grants him very good horizontal mobility, his impunt can be devastating to anyone too close, and his shield allows him to very easily provide cover for himself to either play behind or to flee. Overall, a very solid class, with high potential for how much he can achieve, which is why he earns his second place. And in first place, we have the Foot Soldier. This class is an all-round specialist and has several great attributes that propel him into the first place position. Most primaries are very generous in terms of damage, but that is not all he has to offer. A rocket jump or leap to reach plenty of locations. A missile that can either instantly kill one target or lay waste to many enemies at once. And a sting cloud that although not as useful, can still provide cover and make certain sight lines unable to be used for several seconds at a time. It is all of these attributes and capabilities that I personally believe that the foot soldier is the strongest zombie class in the game. Be sure to come back for the next episode in two weeks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.